Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for my dearest Libras. Libra, we're going to take a look at new love. What I'm going to do first is read your energy, the energy around you, and then we'll see whom may be coming towards you in the next couple of weeks. Now, this could be somebody you know you're already dealing with, or it could be a completely new energy. So use your intuition. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, some of you guys have or are still dealing with an ex or or are getting over some sort of heartache or betrayal or some sort of it's it's like a nasty energy there okay let's go ahead and see hopefully that's in your past and that's what you're healing from and ready to move beyond so let's see libras let's see what your energy is All right, the star card in reverse, Aquarius energy. So some of my Libras, because of that Queen of Swords in reverse energy, something, it feels like a disappointment, a betrayal, betrayal, a heartache, a loss. Um, some of you guys have given up hope on love or finding an adequate partner or somebody who matches your energy. Yeah, a lot of my Libras out there, you guys are feeling drained. It could be financially, emotionally, spiritually, just from your recent experiences or a particular pattern in relationships that you have. Um, it can also be a marriage or a commitment that sort of, they're showing me a tower moment that came crumbling down. Um, and it's like you're trying to sort of pick up the pieces, you're trying to balance, you're trying to heal from that. Um, it could have been a nasty breakup or divorce or separation. Yeah, here's this Queen of Swords again. I don't even want to talk about her because this is somebody that you were dealing with that may have said or done nasty or even abusive things, Libra, that Spirit's telling you that you really, really need to purge and release this energy. Take your time to balance and you know, and to cut cords with this person or this situation or heal from this situation. Take as much time as you need, but make sure that you don't integrate that energy and project it onto um, any, onto yourself, okay, or onto the, you know, any of your present relationships. Yeah, a lot of you guys were stuck in a really nasty, I'm even going to go as far as say an abusive situation in the past. Um, and I feel like it has been quite detrimental to, you know, your finances, to your emotional, your spiritual health. Um, the Knight of Swords in reverse, a lot of you guys, this was a lot of drama. This may be drama that's still sort of ongoing or spirits telling you that, you know, it is time to, we need to release this relationship baggage with all this air energy. Um, I feel like, I just feel like you were dealing with somebody who was, you know, who said and did things that were rude. There may have been gaslighting. Um, there may have just been really nasty jabs taken, lies, deceit. I mean, it, it's, it's a really, really dark energy around you, Libra. But what's coming towards you, the nine of wands. So I don't want you to take this the wrong way because I don't think anybody here needs rescuing. Okay. But the nine of wands is a very powerful energy and it's about, you know, taking a rest, but it's the wounded warrior, but it's like preparing for something new. And we can see the sun energy at the top there. The sun is shining. There's growth. There's expansion. And I feel like you're meeting somebody or there's somebody around you that may be helping you through or out of this difficult situation. And I, I just kind of get this energy of this is this is somebody who's, who's sort of sent to you on your healing journey or because you've been healing from this. Um, and some of you, you may not even see this coming with the star card in reverse. Um, the nine of wands is somebody who's also been through quite a bit, but this is somebody who's going to, you know, cause normally we see the wounded warrior kneeling down and holding onto a wand because they've been, they've been through something pretty tough, but it's like, this person's going to give you support. This is going to be totally different than this previous relationship or connection Libra. All right. They're viewing you as the hermit in reverse. So maybe you're dealing with a Virgo, maybe you have Virgo in your chart, but a lot of my Libras, it, it could be that you've taken time out to heal from whatever this is. Okay. Now for some of you, maybe it is a physical illness, or maybe you are really working on your finances, your coin, but this is somebody who's been waiting to see you. And we get three nines coming out, which tells me that it's divine timing, that a karmic cycle needed to come to an end before this person could come into your life. They're viewing you as the Ten of Wands, having a lot of burdens, but you're at the end of this difficult cycle and this person is showing up 
just in time, right? And again, not that you need rescuing, not that you need completion, but it's like this person, it's because of the healing work, because of what you've worked through, because you've confronted shadows, because you've leaned into whatever this is, an, an energy of overgiving or realizing, okay, how much a previous situation, a karmic situation took from you or drained you. It's like, then all of a sudden you're calling in this different type of energy. Yeah. And you're closing out a difficult cycle. This is somebody that maybe traveling to come and see you. It could be a fixed sign, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, or Taurus. But this, this relationship, this person is going to be completely different than whom you've been dealing with in the past. Um, I do feel that there's divine timing at work here. So a lot of my Libras, you're meeting this person as you're sort of on the up and up. I do feel like it might be unexpected. A lot of my Libras have given up on love who are resonating with this connection because of what you've been through. But this is like the light at the end of the end of the tunnel. This is somebody who's going to restore your faith in, you know, in people, in somebody because they have your back, because they build you up. Um, you know, this is, this is like, this is a gift from the universe for closing out whatever difficult karmic cycle you've just been through. Now the Ace of Swords though tells me there may be confusion. You may not see this coming and you absolutely need to cut cords or ties with whatever this past situation was because it feels for lack of a better word, it feels icky. It feels dark. It feels like you're dealing with somebody that doesn't want the best for you, or you were dealing with somebody that didn't want the best for you, from, for you. They wanted the best from you, but they didn't really give in return. And I don't want to spend too much time on that person's energy, but I do feel that it was quite detrimental to your emotional health, maybe even physical or financial health. Um, I just don't like this past energy at all, Libra. It's time to leave it behind. Many of you already have. I'm sending you guys lots of love and light because that's intense energy I'm picking up on. This new person coming towards you, this is somebody who's strong. This is somebody who's going to help you sort of ma or make you feel like you're not in it alone. This is somebody who's going to pull their weight. This is somebody who's going to want to be protective of you without being controlling. Okay. So we get somebody, um, they might be an entrepreneur. Um, yeah, this is somebody that delights in sharing life's riches. So this is somebody who's going to really add to your life. Um, this is somebody who may be very different from you. Okay. Um, they may come from a different background, but this is somebody who is, like I said, nobody needs completing, but it's going to, you're going to feel complete with this person. They're going to have what you don't, and you're going to have what they don't. And it's this beautiful energy of coming together and creating something out of nothing. And what I'm seeing here with this creative ability to turn anything to gold, this person's going to restore your faith in love. Okay. And, and humanity even, all right, we get an engineer, so maybe they actually are an engineer. For some of you, they may have be like an engineer in the army, that's what I'm hearing, or for the for the military, but just take that with a grain of salt. That's not gonna be for everybody. Um, this is somebody who's also practical. Um, they're creative. And this is somebody who's also really good with their hands. So I feel like maybe that's how you might meet this person. They might fix something for you, um, whether it's in your house, on your car, or they're gonna help you. But it's like I, they're showing me somebody struggling to to do something. I don't know, to, you know, fit, fit bags in a trunk or in a, in a grocery cart or something like that. And somebody coming in and showing you, Oh, let me help you. This is, this is going to make your life a lot easier. Boom. It's going to feel like a very serendipitous event when you meet this person. Um, but it's not luck or chance. It's absolutely because you're closing out this difficult karmic cycle. Um, yeah, and this is your energy. This is the balancing the scales of justice. So for a lot of you guys, it is this person is exactly opposite to the person you've been dealing with in so many different ways. Um, this is somebody who also, I feel like they're going to be very protective of you. They may even help you purge this relationship. I'm actually getting somebody that might, if this person's calling you or bothering you or sending you messages, this person might sort of stand up for you or talk to this person or... I don't know, like, I just feel like this person's going to really defend you. Um, that's not going to be for all of you because for some of you guys, you've already purged and released that past relationship. Um, but this is beautiful energy because I, I like this, the fact this person feels, this person feels very masculine in nature, but remember that's not gender specific. This person is going to stand up for you. They've got your back. They're going to help you carry what feels like the weight of the world. And I, I just love it. And it feels like karmic justice for whatever you've been through, my dear Libras. 
So let's see if we can get another or more info on this person or help you identify who they might be. So we get meeting online. So it could be an online connection. All right. Um, opposites. Yep. I told you this is somebody who's very different from you. Um, maybe they look very different, different religions, cultures, traditions, beliefs, or, or they're just very different. Like I said, it's very yin-yang energy. And this is somebody who's going to be very passionate, very sexy energy. Judgmental. Yeah, but I feel like that judgmental energy is is this karmic justice. This is, you know, you're up-leveling, you're calling this energy into your life. I also feel they could be an Aries, they could be a Scorpio. Aries would be your opposite sign. Um, but I also feel this person is not going to let this past person like anywhere near you. Okay. And not that they're controlling and they're going to tell you who you can and can't talk to, but I just feel energetically, this person is going to just be very protective and very loving. And I feel like that's what a lot of my Libras out there, um, you guys deserve after dealing with whomever this, this maybe another air sign, a Libra, maybe an Aquarius, um, or Gemini, whatever this difficult situation is that you're coming out of, created a lot of confusion. And this uh, this past person you were dealing with had a lot of negative karmic ties, you guys. Um, and I feel some of you may have picked those up. Um, so just be aware. Make sure you heal and clear your energy. All right, we've got I love you. So this this new person, they they do, and they could be a, pan, a Pisces. I was gonna say Panzer, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Not sure what's going on with my language here. <laughs> Pantsers. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what else we can get from this connection. They could also, yeah, they could also be strong Scorpio with that judgmental energy. So you can expect the apology that you want to hear. So you may have this past person trying to come back and apologize, but I feel like this new person, no way, not going to have it. Okay. Don't dismiss the red flags. Yeah. But I don't feel like it's with this new person. I think it's this past person who wants to come in. Um, and someone is secretly yearning for you. Libras, all, I'm, all I keep getting is don't go back to this past person. It feels so toxic. And I feel like there's this new energy that spirit wants you to... Um, wants you to take a look at. Okay? It may be somebody that you're just talking to online. Um there's a lot of potential in this connection and just be aware of projecting that past energy onto something new because I do feel there's a good energy about this new person. Of course, don't dismiss red flags with anybody. Okay. Take your time to get to know whomever might be coming into your life, but spirit saying trust. I do feel like you can trust this new person, this new energy. And I feel like the past person, I think they're going to come in with a lot of lies. And whether they are jealous and triggered that you're moving on or energetically you cut this cord, they're going to react, okay? Because they're going to feel that um, and probably come rushing in and be as sweet as pie and try to say, you know, just try to tell you what you want to hear, make amends. But I just keep getting really strong energy. No, Libra, this past person, no, okay? Their energy is vampiric. They're an energy suck. We get memento, a gift from someone special. But I also feel like what I was getting with this judgment card, this new person is a gift from the universe for doing the work, for purging and releasing this past energy. And this person, okay, actions speak louder than words. So apply that to this past person because I do feel like you have this past person coming back in, trying to bother you, wanting to get with you, wanting to heal things. Um, but I feel like this new person is actually very, very sweet. Um, I feel like also with the, this is an energy of bad boy versus, you know, the, the good guy, right? Or girl, doesn't matter. It's not gender specific, but you know what I mean? And I feel like a lot of you in the past, you were dealing with a quote unquote bad boy or a bad girl, um, bad person. Um, but this new person, you know, you might be a little bit hesitant, like, well, I like, you know, people who are edgy and who are dangerous, but this person's going to be very loving and caring, um, also very protective and very strong. So I do feel like spirit's strongly telling you to give this new person a cho a chance or to hold out for, for, a, for somebody who's in alignment with you. Okay. So it's a really strong message. I know not, it's not for all of you, but somebody out there needed to hear it. Um, I'm sending you so much love and light, you guys. If these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All that info is down below. 
Also, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right, you guys, sending you love and light. Take care.